In this lesson, we'll be taking a little bit of time to get familiar with the Mari interface. So when it comes to actually moving around within Mari, a lot of the camera movements are done by pressing and holding the Alt key on your keyboard. So if you Alt, left click and drag, that will orbit your camera around your character. If you Alt, middle click, that will pan around. And then if you Alt, right click, that will zoom in and out. Now, as an alternative to using Alt, right click, you can also use Alt and then left and middle mouse button at the same time. So uh, both of those mouse buttons will also do uh, the zoom in and out, same as the right mouse button. Now, when it comes to actually moving and orbiting around, you may find that sometimes Mari uh, will uh, kind of start to skew your characters a little bit or skew your objects that are on your canvas. Uh, this happens pretty frequently as you start to orbit and start to make very large movements. So one thing that will be a very, very big uh, lifesaver for you as you start to move this around is we can actually start to spin our camera. So if we start to find that things are a little bit wonky, uh, we can just press Control R and then left click and drag, and that will spin the camera around so we can start to get things realigned if we need to. Now, we can also quick jump to a few uh, viewports. So if we press the one key on our keyboard, that will uh, immediately jump the camera to where we're looking at the side of our character. So again, that's the one key on your keyboard. Two will let us see the opposite side of our character from a side view. Three will let us see from a top down view. Four from a bottom up. Five from a front view. And finally, six from a back view. And with any of these modes active or any of these uh, numbers pressed, we can immediately just press and hold the Alt key and swing our camera around to get back to a little bit more of a three-quarter view. Now, the viewport that we are working in right now is an orthographic view. We also have a perspective view available, although for most of your texturing work, you'll probably find yourself wanting to stay in the orthographic view. This gives us a much better opportunity to be able to project textures with a minimal amount of distortion and a minimal amount of correction that we would otherwise have to do if we were doing projections in our perspective view. So keep in mind, for the most part, you will want to stay in your ortho view. Now, when it comes to actually working and using the Mari interface, one of the things that you'll notice is that the interface is very highly customizable as far as which palettes we are currently viewing. So we can gain access to the palettes by going up to View, Palettes, and then we can see the palettes that are currently active. You can see that they'll have a little bit more of an orange highlight to them. So we also have a bunch of different palettes that are currently not open. Those are the ones that are grayed out at the moment. So if we were to come in and choose something like the History View, you can see the History View pretty much records every single click, every single orbit, every single movement that we've done, essentially since we opened up this project. So we can open up these in a free-floating, or rather a docked palette over here. We can also uh, resize this or uh, collapse it up if we want to actually have several palettes in here. So we could come in and open up something like uh, our tool properties. And you can see as we start to open up palettes, they essentially start to uh, layer on top of each other in this view. Now what we can also do is take any palette and start to move it and redock it anywhere we want. So if we wanted to take this tool properties and let's say move it between uh, these two palettes over here, we can come in and try to shift that right in there. You'll notice if that doesn't work, uh, it will probably pop out somewhere else. But we can also take any of these palettes and just simply tear those off and make them sort of free-floating windows. So there we are. And you'll notice as we start to uh, dock these palettes, it just shows up now as another tab. If there are any of these palettes that we want to close out, you can just click on the little X icon, and now that palette is no longer a part of that. Now, one last thing I want to show before we wrap up this lesson is some of the different view modes that we have. So by default, we're setting uh, this with what is called just a basically a full view or a full quality view. So we have uh, all the shading in our mesh, uh, all the shading of our textures, any highlights, uh, what have you. This is typically the mode that you'll find yourself working in most frequently. Now we also have a slightly reduced view that we can jump to. So if we click on this little icon, you can see the shading is just a little bit different. Uh, for the most part, you don't have uh, the specular highlights and things that uh, you might otherwise have. This can sometimes help to remove uh, maybe some unwanted specular highlights that maybe would make it a little bit more difficult to actually see your texture. But 
just temporarily turning those off. Now we can also finally jump to a flat view, which completely eliminates all the shading of our mesh, and just leaves us strictly looking at the texture itself. Now this becomes a useful view uh, for being able to come in and actually pinpoint uh, any areas of stretching or skewing in our texture that uh, might otherwise be obscured or maybe a little bit more difficult to see with the shading from our geometry. So we can very quickly turn all that shading off and immediately see if there's any unnecessary or unwanted stretching in any parts of our texture. Okay, so that's just a quick look at uh, the process of moving around within the Mari interface, taking a look at some of these different shading modes that we have available to us, as well as taking a very quick look at how we can start to work with and customize some of the palette layouts in Mari.